Welcome back. Nigeria's poor preparation for the Olympic Games was clear for the world to see. When 10 athletes were stopped from competing, it was also due to the failure of the authorities back at home to administer enough drug tests. Then there was the issue with the basketball team's kits arriving late. The Federation blamed it on lack of documentation and miscommunication between ministries of finance and sports. The Puma controversy also comes to mind. Joining us this morning are two gentlemen. I'll start with uh, our in-studio guest, uh, Eserogene Oguma, who is an athlete and the chief executive officer of Athletic Heat. And uh, also we have uh, Lekon Chouetan, who is an athletics coach and statistical analyst. Good morning to you both. Good morning to Ms. Oguma. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be here. And Mr. Chouetan, thanks for joining us. Good morning to you, sir. Okay, well, I think we're, we're going to reconnect with him. So I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Oguma. Um, well, most of the you know reactions to not this you know current Olympic Games would say disappointed. You know, definitely you know we could have done better. Um, but from your perspective, you know, in the preparation to the games, do you were you expecting anything different? Um, in terms of personal personal preparation from the athletes, I think they were getting set. I had high hopes on a few of them and they didn't disappoint. Someone like Inoka Degoke, um, Grace Wonkocha, you know, and a couple of others who didn't run, yeah. you know, but would have done the nation proud. I think personally they were well prepared and they were in camp for a period of time. Um, they were also in the US, um, which I don't think favored them, you know, so they came back after like, I think a month, you know, to get back to camp in Abuja. Usually camping should be, in my opinion, a long, a long period of time but we are used to fire brigade preparation of probably a month two months three months you know so which is really not enough honestly um i will take an example from like the world juniors which is coming up later this month there's a country who has been in camp since like march and nigeria just got into camp about three weeks ago or two weeks ago you know so we can't when you talk about preparation we can't really compare what other people are doing in other countries than what we're doing here. I think we just need to improve on that aspect because three weeks camping, four weeks camping, it's really not enough to have these athletes in that sh shape of that you want them so to. But who do you blame for. for starting camping so late? Um, the Federation. I mean, the Federation is in charge of, of st things like this. When it comes to the games, definitely the ministry, the games like the Olympic Games, the Commonwealth Games, African Games is funded by the ministry. But when it talks about championship, the world championship, world junior championship, um, they are all by the federation. So both parties should be blamed. Mm. It depends on where we're looking at it from. Yeah. So we know that this Tokyo 2020 Olympics is the third that Nigerian teams will be basically missing. Um, I think the last was the Beijing 2008. And when you look at where we're coming from and what it seems to be now, what assessments can you make? Um, really, not so good. Uh, it's, it's, really, it's really sad that we are where we are today. Um, if you, just like you're saying, the 1996 yeah. um, Olympics, we had a lot of Nigerians. They won, won six medals at that Olympics, and we haven't got back to that level. Um, the last time we won medal, aside this Olympics, okay, was 20, 2016, the men's football. Then um, Okagbari in 2008, you know, where she won, obligated to silver in the women's long jump. I don't think we've done so much. I think... We need to really do better, you know, in terms of like funding for the athletes, preparation and, and caring for these athletes. Because the athlete's welfare is very important to the success of these athletes. But when you don't give proper attention to that, you know, the thing just keep going down the drain. I want us to talk about this whole jersey embarrassment. We know that, you know, the Athletics Federation of Nigeria were commissioned to go out and look for sponsors. They eventually did. They got the German um, company, Puma. Yeah. But eventually, Sunday Direct came along and went on to say that there were some discrepancies. We're not going to go ahead with it. They went on with one Africa for Africa um, um, indigenous brand that was well celebrated. But what really can you say about this issue? Because the DS has got involved. They took this whole matter to court. It was a big story um, back 2019, 2020. But then, you know, when we look at the fact that we've been struggling to get sponsors, eventually we did. And then they said that the, the agreement doesn't hold water. How do you think this might affect our prospects in future of getting sponsors for our football games? 
Uh, well, athletics. Um, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, to really dissect into this matter because the Federation was in two factions. Um, one led by um, engineer uh, Ibrahim Gusso, yes. and then the other by Olamide George. And obviously one had the support of the ministry, while the other had the support of the World Athletics body. And I think the one who the World Athletics recognized is more or less like the one who should be on board. But there, were, there was a back and forth tussle on who should have the power. Though um, Honorable Gusso got the um, deal, but then other members of the board were like, you didn't come to us, you didn't tell us about this deal, so this deal doesn't hold water. You know, but though they used it in 2019 at the World Championship in Doha, where Esti Brumet won a bronze medal, but then I think it's just political. Exactly. What, what does, I think it, it's what just does political. Exactly. come to us mean? Um, Pardon? Let me help me understand what that is. Okay, means. so um, if you have a board as the president, it's right that you go to your board and tell them, okay, this is the deal that was brought to the Federation. This is this is that. But from what we have or what we have heard so far from the news is that they didn't, the Olamide, um, not Olamide now, in, um, Honorable Gusau and the TD, uh, Mr. Sunday so, uh, Adelaide, yes. didn't come to the board to tell them more about this deal. I don't but, by the so, board, you mean the board in the Ministry of Sports? No, right? no, no, the, the board of the Athletics Federation oh, okay. of Nigeria. There was, um, so, you know, I, I think I saw, you know, an interview with Adelaide where he showed, you know, that there were signatories uh, from the, uh, the ministry, or the board rather, you know, that basically meant that they were aware, they, they knew everything about the deal. So yeah, it might be personal issues. It might be. That's uh, why I said it's it's a whole lot of politics. Seems like a political yeah, issue. Yeah. Yes, it is. Let's uh, let's invite our, our next guest, joining us via Zoom, Mr. Lekel Shoto, athletics coach and statistical analyst. Uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. All right, so we've been analyzing Nigeria's uh, performance, especially uh, preparation leading up to the Tokyo Olympics. Um, do you think that Nigeria could have prepared better? And you know, gotten out more results. Well, uh, I agree with uh, Esra Gene more. We are all into this. We feel athletic, we feel it. And as a coach, I feel it. We could have done far more with our athletes' ranking in the world. Please, that is run between the first 16 in the world is a prospect. And we have up to eight of them rank. So if we have a performance like you have, which is short of the expectations for at least a gold medal, then a two, two silver medals, then to me, in Doha, we won bronze. And everybody said uh, we didn't perform well. I was in Doha and I was midst of the uh, of the Bruhaha that said we didn't perform in Doha. I wonder now, in Doha, we had one bronze the position. Can we say of that? Have uh, uh, the, 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 the understanding was in the final race, you should have the person. I think we could have placed a seventh. Seventh, fourth, third position could have increased our ranking. So to me, if we had a good preparation, a good HS United, and a board arranged by the Ministry, Ministry of Youth and Sport is all federations, we all know that, they are going to own the sports. So to me, I'm getting paid every more federal government, they are capable of handling things, especially the kids, have that independence. How would they be able to say, they want to, but only is being sponsored already. So to me, it, and everything that they have done to this performance, they will gain from anything. So they have nothing to lose anyway. It's win-win. One bronze in athletics, and to me, it's a success story. That it's better that we are coming back with. It. So to me, it could have been better. Preparation did we have? They took some really hard things to to meet the qualifying standard they hope to have met in a cheap one in Poland and you hope that for you that nothing. And they came back to Nigeria, they still some events and some events were cancelled because they believe it's their own Nigerian way. 
that you can bend rules. And so to me, it's we are constantly more of and uh, any any progress right now, and we will have done better integration operate the way we have been operating from 2018 when we went for the Commonwealth Games. All right, Mr. So Shreton. Yes. Yeah, um, the, we have challenges with the network, but I think we can we can work with it. Um, do you think that the ministry maybe has too much to handle at the same time? You know, because we're talking athletics here, we're talking uh, you know long jump, uh, long jump, short put, football, basketball. Uh, is that too much to handle? Because first of all, the football teams didn't even make it to the Olympics. Um, now we're speaking about S.A. Brume and uh, um, Blessing uh, Oborodudu as the only winners. You know, there's other sports that, you know, we, we didn't even, you know, make any strong attempt in. Um, so do you, would you say the ministry has too much to handle or they're distracted by their own internal crisis? And that's one of the reasons we didn't go anywhere here. The ministry themselves are the distractions. The minister with the operations of the federations. If you listen to many of federations leaders, they will tell you the ministry are fearing too much. You are to supervise, not to run the federation for them, not to dictate who will lead a faction, they take a sides. So to me, they are the disrupt. Not that they have too much to handle, they have nothing to handle for Christ's sake. NOC, Nigerian Olympic Committee, so, Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport has taken the NOC. So, the NOC is just acting puppet to the minister. The minister, wants, as a politician, he wants to be seen is working. And he knows, he has advisors who are not really professionals in this field. That he is not a coach. He was an experienced and a exposure. Because if, if she had the exposure, we should miss out. We were into or we are into as a doping rich nation. The minister even uh, ha has advisors that the professional, so to say. So to me, they don't have anything to, they don't have anything much to offer, out, but they are still distracting. Okay. So, okay, so, let's find so, out what exactly. All right, so show it out. Let's find out what the problem is. I want to bring in Mr. Oguma here. Um, Adele mentioned that the problem is the sports ministry and the sports minister under his administration, saying that the problems of Nigerian athletics have never been worse under the person of Sunday Dari. Truth or false? Coach Shetan will be able to answer that. <laughs> Let's get your opinion, then we'll bring in Shoyifo. <laughs> so um, I feel like things have not always been right. You know, but then I feel at this point, government interference is just so much in this, in this particular board. I, I don't think in time past, in my years of competing or following out the sports in, in, in general, I don't think there's, there's been any point where any of these ministers would really interfere or choose a party. I feel like when a, fa when a father has two, ch two of his sons fighting, he shouldn't pick side with one. You should bring the two and be able to table the matter on the best way to go about it and not siding the senior one or siding the junior one, you know, against the other. So I feel like that's where the minister got, got it wrong. All no. right, how about you, uh, Mr. Shoyito? Where do you think the problem lies? Do you agree with Adele that the problem is with the sports minister and the ministry itself? Yeah, I agree with Adele. Because um, you can't have him who is ego driven, who wants to make sure. It counts. In Doha, there was there were athletes that were built to run in certain event, and you came back. You set up a committee. Committee you set up up to five of the members of in Tokyo. You brought in your friends to come and get to start with. Check the names as in Doha set after Doha. They are I will uh, I know where they. Well, in Tokyo as sports scientists, where is that done? For friends to come and judge a, a, a performing federation. So to me, it's quite clear, driven by Igo, that I want to remove this. 
move the person in our top course without checking the, the so to me the minister is the history has always been a problem because from every uh, games they will tell you they own the games bring their family members and uh, on trips they will drop coaches for for their girlfriends and it has always been like that so when you have a friend it cut their tracks that they will fight back that's what they do would you would so you, would me, you uh, mr sherito um yes because we're trying to avoid you know further embarrassment would you advise you know anybody to resign in, you know after the olympic games hmm. well to me even resigning the problem they should set up committees to really buy a wall went wrong from the very beginning there must be even the minister can't he should be able to tell nigerians what funds public funds is not I advise him to, to really just stick to his youth part of the and let, let him just start looking until he's any. So to me, it's not just about reason. Beyond that, some people must. How can 10 athletes lose out? How can I train my athletes and eventually my run at the Olympics or perform? I'm telling me somebody could just resign. And it should be brought to book. Yeah, so 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 you know, it, it's more than just resignation. There has to be, or there have to be actual questions answered. Um, because if we move on from this and nobody gets punished or nobody gets, uh, you know, to act, answer these questions, then we're going to have a repeat, very likely, you know, in the next uh, international competition that we attend. So how how can we uh, ensure that this doesn't repeat itself? Do you want somebody to be fired? Do you want a whole department to completely be fired? Um, or what exactly do you think must be done? Somebody needs to be ashamed of themselves. Mr. Sherita, do we still have you there? Okay, let's, let's pass yeah. that. Oh, Mr. Sherita, can you hear us? Uh, I will answer now. Uh, okay. The ministry and the entire family Transport should be overhauled. Good. What they should do and not to do, especially when we are playing Olympics. Appearing with the federation set up, church should be given chance to, to come up and they abide by them. The minute advise them when they are not sticking to the uh, uh, arrangements. So if they, they should be total overhaul. Okay, and we, first and foremost, Mr. Sherita, we apologize. We Mr. Sherita, we apologize. We may have to end that here because we're not getting um, the audio clearly from you. But quickly to get your final thoughts, um, Mr. Oguma, do you agree that there should be a shake-up in the Ministry of Sports and maybe anyone getting sanctioned for this performance at the Olympics? Yes, um, I feel there should be an overhaul. You know, first of all, I feel people who like Blessing Akagbari said, people who are passionate about the sports, not putting people who really don't know anything about the sport. I think over time we have not really had a sports minister who did the sports. You know, you, when you don't do something, you really don't know the into Where the depth, you know. So I feel the first thing from the, which is coming from, I think, the presidency should be to put somebody who did the sport who understands experience. pardon maybe a former athlete yes who understands the sport i i really thought uh, miriam yali would have been the 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 minister and not an essay to the minister you know i feel if someone in in that in that capacity can lead us in the sports ministry or you know it would it would go a long way it would change certain things that we are facing today fantastic oh. thank you very much um esel gene oguma as well as mr um Shirito, who came in earlier um this is where we'll take a, a break on the preparation um for the tokyo olympics 2020 uh, we'll take a break here we'll come back to discuss the games proper and review nigeria's performance stay with us <laughs> 